So hello and welcome back to the Brit Den and finally another video. I know it's been quite a while and I do apologise for the the break. It was mainly for the reasons that I did state in the last video but um, I have been working on a secret project for Rebel Look which hopefully you'll find out about in the upcoming months. But anyway, on to this video and I have got a brand new update series. Now I'm changing the update format slightly which I did mention in the last video and hopefully over the next videos or so you'll begin to appreciate and understand the changes I've made. You may not be able to fully understand what I've got planned for the update in this video because this one's more just an introduction and won't follow the format which the, the next updates will. But anyway, what am I actually going to be building? Well, if you've read the title, you will already know, and that is Arkham Asylum. Now, I'm not going to be building any particular Arkham Asylum, more just a sort of a, one sort of from my own mind, but taking parts from a number of different ones. Now, the main kick of inspiration, I suppose, for this was the Lego Batman movie that came out back in February. And also you will see in a little bit some of the pieces that I've been collecting for ages and ages and that are all going to be dedicated to this mock. I have really been preparing for it since February but I'm now finally getting around to building it. Now one of the main inspiration points as I've already mentioned is the Lego Batman movie but in particular this book here. It's got loads of great images for inspiration for Lego Batman mocks in general but also some fantastic part usage for instance you can see here not only has it got the mohawk acting as plants but also the microphone pieces are in fact used as bollards on the street corner here it's also got some more specific inspiration sources for Arkham Asylum in particular which you can see just here got some specific concepts here which are all very helpful lots of different designs and ways of doing Arkham which I will draw inspiration from all of them but you've also got some um, ways of solving some particular problems which occur with Arkham Mox, in particular the sign and the lettering now I'm definitely going to be using this technique as you'll see later in the video so also, what is my mock going to look like? Well, it's not, as I said, not going to be basically inspired from anything in particular, but it's more going to be just sort of an amalgamation of lots of different Arkham Asylums. You can see I have done some sketches here. They're very, very basic rough sketches. Uh, I haven't done any detail plans whatsoever. I'm really just going to start building basically and hopefully aim for it to look generally like this. You can see some certain details like a, a more old building here and a hut on the hill here. Now this is from looking at it from the right and then this is looking at it from the left. So these are the same design just from different angles. And then this here is this building here just drawn at a larger scale. And that's just to get the idea of the general shaping, no details in particular. But I have in fact already started this build. I have actually, as I said, started it. And here you can see the first section which I've built, which is the entrance to the asylum. You can see the nice sign here, which uses the same technique that I showed you a little bit earlier in the book. But it's actually now got an arch, which is, to me, the more iconic version of the sign. It's also a part of the gate here, which is actually taken from the 2013 or 2012 Arkham Asylum official set. I just like this gate so so much that I just wanted to include it but it did in my opinion need the addition of the extremely iconic part of the asylum. You can also see some other details for instance you've got the microphones here which I showed you also a little bit earlier which make for excellent little bollards or whatever down here and you've also got the bin that spilled onto the road and the road is a snot construction which I'm very happy with as well. So anyway, now it's time to get back to building, which I'm in this update series, I'm going to feature much more. Instead of before, I had very much finished sections of the mock. I'd show that each week. It's going to be much more of a building diary. And if you don't really understand that, hopefully you will begin to as more of these updates come out. 
But before I get to that, I do have a couple of Brit links to show you, which hopefully you'll start to understand some of the techniques I'm going to be using. So here are the three Brit links which I've got for this mock. You may remember earlier in the year, I did also get some parts from Inns Point in Hong Kong, and you can see the video of that from a couple of months back on my channel. Now, some of the parts you'll see here are in fact for the Scarif mock I've built a while back now but most of them are for Arkham Asylum. If you want to see all the parts that I got, don't forget to just pause the video. But now on to building, and what I'm concentrating on for this update is building the foundations for the three islands. Now this stage is probably the most integral to get right, and it's always the stage I find the absolute hardest. Starting off a mock is always the hardest stage, because you don't really know quite where to start. And I did in fact, when building this, make a mistake with the main island. I just did make it wide enough to the right and that's something I did have to go back and fix but it doesn't really matter, I hadn't planned it out in detail so that's something that's fine but it just have to make sure you get this stage absolutely perfect. I mean you can when you get further down the line go back but it just causes massive problems because you have to take major sections apart so it's important at this stage to get it all right. So here are the three finished foundations for the three main islands and also the entrance which I've built already. I'm pretty happy with the scale of all three of the islands so far. I don't want to make them too large because I really want to concentrate on the detail. I am also thinking just about having another small island on the right side but I'm not sure yet if I'm going to do that. I just need to wait until I get a bit more into the build, it gets a bit more developed and then I can see if I've got any parts left for that extra island. I'm thinking about having this plate at an angle just to give this island a bit more variety and a difference to the other ones. There's also going to be bridges between the islands but not at the lower level, a little bit higher up. So that's why there's no connection between them. So that brings this video to an end. Now this video has been a bit longer for me and I do apologise for that but hopefully the next updates won't be as long as this one. This It was mainly just because of the introduction part that I had at the start. The next updates will more follow the same format that you saw at the end of this video. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to follow the Brick Den on Instagram and also the Brick Den now has a Flickr account. So don't forget to follow that as well. But most of all, thank you so much for watching this video.